Sarah, <laughs> how does it feel? I know it'd be hard to put it into words probably right now, but how does it feel right in this moment to have made it to a World Cup? Just, I mean, unbelievable. <laughs> um, I feel like we've worked so hard for this for so long and come up short and I had quite a few disappointments, so to actually finally get over the line, it just... I don't even know, it makes me like <laughs> well up every time I start thinking about it, just the fact like we're actually going to a World Cup. Like it's always been a dream of mine, I'm sure it's a dream of everyone's here, like to go and play at the highest level for your country is just unbelievable. Um, yeah, just absolutely buzzing. How, how about you? Take the as well. I know. To lead your country as captain to the World Cup, how, how are you doing? Um, yeah, really special. I think like you said, like it's not really sunk in and like the emotions probably not really come yet because I think for so long, right in the middle batting, just like trying to ignore what's at the end of the line um, and just make sure we keep going, keep focusing and um, get across it at the end. But just to see everyone running on um, and yeah, the, all the messages that we've received so far, just, um, yeah, I can't, I don't think I can really put it into words right now. Yeah, no, it's crazy, I guess, to think we had our first qualifier back in 2015 yeah. for each of us, for Scotland, the first one was in yeah. 2008, created as a team, Scotland women in 2000, and here we are in 2024, Yeah, finally having gotten over the line. Um, yeah. And I think Annette, you can come in and put it on Twitter, like we're the only the 12th women's team to make it to a World Cup. Um, I've not fact checked that, but um, <laughs> it's just oh, unbelievable. I mean, what a journey it's been. And yeah. I feel so lucky to have done it alongside you as kind of my sister and um, to kind of experience those, a lot of lows um, <laughs> and to finally have an absolute crazy massive high. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like, like you said. Like, there's so many people that have played before us, and a lot of people, different people that were playing in that first qualifiers that we played at in Thailand. And um, we had a good couple of qualifiers, I think. But when, whenever we made it to the semi-final, there was like not really much chance of us getting through. It was always the hope of us having a fantastic game. But yeah, it's been a tough day or so kind of thinking about it like knowing that you actually have the ability to get there and we've got the squad to do it it almost makes it a bit harder to keep the emotions in, in check and um, yeah to to get through and yeah like you said all those different people and um, I think like a really special one for me is it's feel really sad that Abby's not here with us but I know like she's with her little daughter back home watching and she inspired so many people in this team um, to get to where they are and she's then sat there with someone who's hopefully going to be inspired for the, the future generation as well and yeah that's someone really special I think. Yeah I think like her and Carrie as well, cap number one and we've been lucky enough to play with them and yeah. be coached by them and um, yeah it's just amazing that hopefully we, we did it for them as much as we did it for us and we've done it to the whole country and yeah. Um, yeah, it's just so exciting, isn't it? I, know. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, it's just absolutely buzzing. <laughs> um, yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. We've done it. We've done it.